Okay, so this is the update on Luna. I don't know if uh, anyone has seen the little video we did when I went to work with, with her for an hour or so. Uh, she was the one, this is Luna, the one that was um, rescued. Uh, very under and the owner, bless her, has, has managed to get her up to speed. Spent quite a lot of money. Uh, a problem, so she's all good now, all vet checked and whatever. Uh, big problem, um, quite severe, is the bitting. Uh, well, actually, no bitting. You can get a bit in the mouth, but you cannot put the halter on, the, 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 the bridle on. And now she goes. Uh, as soon as you go to put it on properly she violent she's quite dangerous she's worked out she can push forward violently and shake her head raise her head and there's no way it's going on and it's just got worse and worse so anyway i i, I went to to help and i knew i knew very quickly there's no way i could just do a session and that's it so i'm giving it my best shot we've got the horse here for a week or so uh, to see whether i can improve the problem enough I haven't got the luxury of time like like I would want. So I um, sort of short track more than most would be able to, but I've got the experience to be able to short track like that. So very quickly, hopefully, I'll, I'll make in grounds into um, into the to the bridling with Luna. I won't just go straight in and start on the the ears and the bridling. What I what I do because she has a habit of ramming people into a wall that she's worked out. It's exactly what she needs to do to stop the uh, bridle going over her ears. I work on groundwork to really solidate the, my space. So she won't, hopefully that won't enter her head to consider unrequested forward motion and, and hurting me. Cause I've got to keep myself safe. So that's first I'm going to show. This is not a how to video because it, it would be days long. I'll just show the groundwork that I do and the reasons for it very quickly now uh, and then uh, I'll move on to how uh, the process of me uh, improving the bridles, bridling and the ears. So first will be very quickly now the groundwork. So I'm going to show, I've kept the, the groundwork to a minimal wither really because I've concentrated on mainly because of the way she can push on people, my groundwork's concentrated on getting her to, 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 to give us space to give us space to back off um, and and to get the hind quarter control that's been my main focus uh, to make me feel safer with her in the stable and to just you know like a, I, I, I more want this to work out not just for the bridal but more for for respecting people if something she's not sure of and doesn't escape so yeah I've, I've, I've kept I've worked pretty hard on getting a bit of space from her. The hind quarter control is vital. There's hind quarters come towards me. Stop the left, right back, left back. Forward with the feet that way. Forward with the feet. Hind quarter control. And I've just done a little bit of shoulder yielding, not much. So there's hind quarters, left shoulder, uh, hind quarter, and then back her off me. Oh, lovely. She's really, really loose, loose stuff on the backing up side of it. Because I, I, I really worked on that. Um, stop. There's the left, uh, sorry, the left, right. So she's really realising now I've got control of them feet, um, which is so important to stop. Back up two paces. She's really getting that. Now, the siding up um, is really important. I'm not involved with the with the riding of this horse. Might become involved, I don't know, but I'm not involved with that. My, my main focus is getting the horse safe around people if she's spooked or or they try to put the bit in and she searches and smashes. That's my main concern. Um, 
So the siding up for me is not about uh, them getting on it, but it will help, obviously. But for me to be able to do stuff high above her, with that, which will keep me safe, because the way she throws her head, it's such a violent throw and a violent thrust forward that she could really hurt me, you know. And I, 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 I got, I'm hoping the best of my life's to come. <laughs> But uh, that, 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 that's like 300 pound a head there. And I'm just thankful other people haven't been hurt with a head. Uh, so at least I'm safe then if I'm up above her. So I'll uh, show you um, her siding up. Uh, so I'm gonna jump up on the fence here. All right, I'll jump up here on the fence. And all I do, all I do, if she goes with the hindquarters that way, then I'll put pressure, I'm like banging my knee, rising. So if I raise this rope, she's took the right option there. So she, she took the right option. I've done this once with her. This is how quick she picks things up. She's very, a lot of the difficult horses are the clever ones. So I'll tell her that was the right way to go, right? Now I'm gonna lift again. If she goes the wrong way, the pressure will increase. So I'm gonna just tap myself. Oh, and she went the right way. She went the right way. So now I'll tell her how good she is. And this is where the, the learning is, right this second now. Um, she's learning that that's a good place to be, right there. So I'll rub on her. That's where they learn, that's the, import, that's the important bit, is the doing nothing. There's but some midges really, around her, she's not nastily. No, she's not doing a tail. Um, yeah, we're sticklers, guys, on, on swishy tails. We try to train, not, some are naturally do it, but we try to, we, we're always looking at quiet tails. Um, so, I'll back her off. I want to be able to back her off here. Go on away from me, thank you very much. Now come back in. There. So, that's, that's siding up basically. If she goes the wrong way, then I'll just make a bit of pressure and release pressure when she comes the correct way. So, but from this angle now, I, if I kept my head back there, if she was really gonna kick a fuss, I'm, I'm safe there, out of her way. If she barged forward, then, you know, then I'd be out. Look at that, that's fantastic. If I back her up a touch, oh, she's even thinking back now, but I can bring her into me here, and then really, right, she tipped towards me with her head, so I can even train the tipping towards me here, so that's how she gets rid of me off her ears. There, she's staying there, leave my ears alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave my ears alone. Um, I'll do that again, see if it's her, her own. Right, she's going down there, avoiding a little bit. So I'll just say, that's where you get rid of me. So that's the, that's the siding up, that's the principles of siding up. Um, okay, well I think, I think that's it. I think I'm ready to go in, inside really, and do it in the stables, okay? I did have a few people message and ask why I thought she was so bad with the bridling. It's hard to say. There is a scar behind one of her ears. One of her ears. It's usually symptoms of causes that cause problems. Yeah, the, 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 the problems show up. There's usually a reason. Who knows what that is? Let's say there's a scar there. It, it, she could very easily have been ear twitched. I've known a lot of horses ear twitched. Uh, if an ear twitching goes wrong, then again you've got that problem. Uh, a very difficult to get over it. But let's see where we get. You know, there's no guarantee. Uh, so let's just see it, see how I get on. So, so okay, my groundwork's done. I'm happy um, with the respect I'm getting with the space uh, and that. Put her in a stable. I'm I my first intentions was to cut the stable out completely because that's where the barging was taking place and the dangerous behaviour around the ears. Uh, not so much the ears, but when you use a bridle, she knows the difference, and then it would be dangerous. Uh, but I've got to the stage where. This mare is one of the most challenging ones I've had for a long time. I, I knew it would be, I knew she would be when I, when I actually visited uh, and I was doing so much more than I was letting on to actually get something done with getting the bridle anywhere near, near on really. So I think if I can somehow do it in the stable, uh, or, or get respect in the stable with her uh, and get the bridling going on in there, it's gonna help big time when she goes back and even if I say to them no don't do it in the stable at least I feel like it's it's gonna uh, mean more it's gonna mean more to her if I can get it done in there 
So my groundwork's done, I'm happy with, with the respect I'm getting. I've been able to fiddle with the ears quite a bit when I've been siding up so that it's not dangerous for me. So what I'd like to point out now, I'm gonna go in the stables now with her. The fact that she's at the door means in her mind she's pushing, pushing on people. This was uh, made clear to me years ago and it really has made a difference. So what I need people to do with her is when they go to the stable door, if they're gonna go in, to actually take the opportunity to move it's all about moving her away for, for uh, controlling to get her out of our space so going into the stable now i will start and every time i go in the stable if she pushes like that on the door i'm going to go and i'm going to tut her back and make my intentions clear so now she's gone back so i, I haven't really looked at her and if you notice there with her i'm using not only the my tutting that i do for, for backing uh, and my suggestion i I'm also moving my head. I bob my head when I go in. Uh, so I'll show you here, I'll let it come forward. So, so I bob my head, which is really helping. It's what a lot of horses will do with each other. Um, I'm, I'm using everything I know to try and get this to work with this mare. This has been very challenging, I knew it would be. Uh, and the hard bit, really, is not so much the me getting the bridle on i can i can get i think i can get the bridle on okay now to for me to live with it the hardest bit is is handing over the bit the bridle and reins to somebody else it takes an awful lot of little bits of feel here and there to, to get her confidence enough to let me to let me put this on uh she she has got a, me, a mental block with the bridle and ears who knows why where it's from but it really is, you know, she'll let, let you touch your ears, but you get that bridle involved, she can't go. Again, she's come two paces forward, I'm gonna keep on. I cannot live with the fact if I get my work done here and then she goes and barge, barges someone up against the stable door again and break, break their ribs like she did. Um, so anyway, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go in with her now. I'm looking at her feet. I'm gonna back another one off. Looking at her feet, I'm not looking at anything else. Um, so, she backed off nicely now from me. So now I'm gonna uh, put the halter on here. Now, because all of, all of her bridling, it's away and up, up away, and all the shaking of the head and, and barging, it's all avoidance with her. So what I've been doing with her, I mean, I don't know, this is fourth or fifth day. Um, I'm making sure now, when I put the bridle on, that she helps me put it on. So I just release, release with my finger when she helps me like there. Now if she, I'm gonna ask her again. So she's starting to think, I'm putting this bridle on and she's kind of working with me a little bit there. So I'm happy with that, that's, that's, quite, that's quite good. So I've done that. I'm just gonna bring the forward and back. So yeah, I've got, I've got my uh, connection to her feet okay. While I'm in here, I'm going to just disengage her. Uh, oh, he's rubbing Charlotte, don't worry. Uh, right, so I'm going to disengage her because I might need that. I might need that. So, so I'm looking at her hindquarters. I'm getting a disengagement. So I've got that. Now I'm going to back her up a step. See, it, it's absolutely fantastic in this stable. This is where the danger zone is with her, really. But I'm happy with that. So that's good. Now I'm going to just quickly lower her head because again and, and i must tell you I, I did this for an hour last night um an hour of, of, of all of this bridling last night in here that's how difficult it was to get things moving in the right direction uh, but i'm right near the house so I, I can do that and i knew it would be challenging it is really challenging this one is uh, now the 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 lowering of the head i think people have seen me do it a million times so I can lower her head all right. And what I've been doing, while she's down here, she's starting now, when I touch her ears, to, to, to move in towards me. Um, so that's how she gets rid of it. So I'm touching her ears, that's fine. Happy with that. So I'll move her away from the wall, just in case she does get a bit upset. So there's feet forward, disengaged. Lovely job, right. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to, I've, I've designed with the bit, um, a way of me continuing forward with it with 
the brow band on. Now, when I started this, even my first visit, a brow band was out of the question. There's no way you could, uh, it doesn't matter who you are, there's no way you could get these ears to, to flap forward enough for, for, for a bridle. You can't do it. And whether it's the scar, scar damage at the back of the ears, right? she knows that what I'm, I'm going to do in a minute for her. Uh, or the feel. fact that they're just massive. Well, they are very big, but there's the scars at the back of them. You know, who knows where they've come from, what's happened, but there's a mental block. She will allow touching of these ears, and she will allow flatting back a little bit and forward a little bit. But more than that, the head starts shaking, and then it's dangerous. When she does that with me in the stable last night, she did that a few times, the beauty of this now is what I was happy with more than the bridling. This is just bridling. At the end of the day, my concern more with this mare is not hurting somebody. That's, I mean, everyone thinks, oh, it's the bridling and the ears. No, for me, it's not getting someone killed because she's that determined not to have it, not to have the bridle. She doesn't know what she's doing. She just worked out she can, her way out of it is to smash people up against the wall. It's just, it's, that's, that's my more, cons that I was happy with last night, other than the fact that I got the bridle in, was that she's not, um, hurting people in a stable or considering that so so yeah so that's that now what i've done i have got to stage now where i've put a bridle uh, a, a brow band on i've took the nose the nose band off for now um i've put a different bit in there the other one i thought was just a little bit small and this is like a, a sweet iron one and i found sweet iron ones they quite like chewing on them a little bit I, I, well I, I i thought to myself that's what i'm going to put in so i did so there's the bridle now she's not avoiding, I've got this now, she's not avoiding. If in a minute, because this is not edited, you've seen it as it is. Um, if she does complain a little bit in a minute, I'm not gonna try and hold her, try and try and force the issue. If she starts to uh, avoid, uh, then, then as soon as she does that, I'm gonna disengage her in here a few times. Disengage, 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 move her back, lower her head, and then say, shall we try again? So to try and make it her idea to try and work with me. Now, if I get the bridle on, get it over the ears and put it on, immediately I put it on. Last night I worked out the best thing I can do, as soon as she's tried so hard to let me put it on, I just, I just move away from her. It's like a release completely from, from me and the nightmare that this presents to her. Uh, so that's what I'll do. If you see me, if she complains, I'll disengage her. Um, and then, and then go again. So it's, it's good for you to see. Uh, remember, this is an extreme ca case of this ears and bits and brow band. So um, someone asked me the other day, well, why don't they just ride her bridle, uh, you know, with, with, a, with a halter? That wouldn't re work really, I don't think, in this case. I mean, there might have to be some adjustments with, although I'm gonna be able to get this done. Because you have said it's not the bit that's the problem. It's not bitting, yeah. is it? Uh, no, you get the bit in the mouth, but what, what, what I'm talking about, if they can't, when I hand over, if they, they, they feel that the owner's going to represent all people riding and it isn't the same as mine, which I've been at this so long, that's what, the, that was what bothers me more than anything, is the handover with this one. Um, like I said, I could live with this, but it's getting, the hard bit is handing it over to someone else and her getting upset then and knowing it's not me and my feel I'm presenting. But... You can't, um, you know, we, there may be a case for getting a bridle that you may have to put the bit in and then put it over like a halter, do it up and then put the brow band on. I mean, there's all sorts that can be done, but the kind of people that are going to be taking this horse on, they, they want to ride her in schools with the bits. So it kind of, if I can get this done for them, then it's a better future for, for, for this mare. So... Because I've been doing loads of, um, look, she's putting her head where I want it already, look. She knows mm -hmm. this is coming. But that's what I've been doing, getting the head round and down for her to try and work with me with this. Now we'll see how much, how close I get. I mean, I haven't done it since last night, so this is like, maybe like starting over again. I might have to do another hour later with it, um, which I'm willing to do. Uh, and then we'll see. So my system, because I leave this on, um, I've dropped the bit down, I've put a tipex mark there, I've dropped it down so it's not tight in the mouth and that will always have to be that way because then you haven't got to flat the ears so much. Once it's on, then it can be adjusted up 
to where whatever level they want the bit. So I'm gonna, because I've got the halter, I can bring her around. I'm gonna offer this up, all right? She hasn't, she hasn't gone up with her head yet, which is good. But if she does, I've got the, um, uh, the halter. Now, that's the bit in. I'm gonna pull it up so it's up a little bit. I then get the brow band, right? I've got, then I'm gonna tip her towards me. Now, the left hand ear, I'm gonna gently, gently put it forward. Now, I've got the ear, you see that Charlotte? Mm -hmm. I've got the ear on. Now, what I do then, in my mind, one, two, three, four, and at five, I pull it this way, and I've just dropped, without you probably even seeing it, just dropped my hand straight back. And then I've, I'm gonna, she's had a little shake there, she does that every time, but I've just left her alone now. So the way she got rid of all of that, by trying and let me put it on the only way I've been able to do it so far, there was no forward movement with her feet. She didn't bash me out the way, she considered me. Um, so I've released her, left her, she always shakes her ears a little bit. Now she's, she's saying, all right, we got there. Um, I'm gonna do it again. So to take it off, I get, I get ready with it. If she complains, shakes and pulls away, then I'm gonna disengage her. So I've got the halter. I'm gonna be very, very quick. I'm not gonna muck around. I'll go straight forward with my hands at the count of five. So one, two, three, four, five, up. Right, now I'm gonna get her to tip towards me and take it out when she drops down. I'm gonna wait for her to drop down with me. There, I took it out nice. Now I'll leave her alone for a second. That was actually much better than I thought. But you can see with this shaking of the ears, she's, you know, she's really bothered, but there is a scar there. Um, but she's proved, because when I sided her up and I sat on there, you see the rope there? Um, can, we show, can we show, can we, oh. Look can, the rope there. Yeah. For my safety, when I came in here last night, um, and remember, what you're seeing here is what I wouldn't ask anyone to do. Because I've had so much experience with this, I can keep, keep myself as safe as possible. This could be dangerous for people. So this is not a how to any of this, just out of interest, I know I would love to see this sort of level of working with a horse to try and get over a problem that's pretty mentally ingrained in there. So I put the rope there. I've done the siding up outside, so I knew I could side her up in here. Uh, so there's the, the, the rope. So I clamber up here last night, taught her again, or just recapped her about siding up is where I wanted her. Then I was able to play with the ears. And she oh, complained a bit, but I was safe. Now that was on request, right, did anyone see that? That was unrequested forward motion. Now I didn't have the lead rope, admittedly. That was my, my mistake, really, but, and she knew I'd lost my contact with her. But again, around the stable, I do, unless I ask her forward with the feet, I don't want to move him forward, because that can translate into pushing on people and hurting them again, so good to see that. So last night I'm up on there, I get a side nut, and then I got some rope, soft rope that I got out there, and I worked on doing the ears. I worked on, and she was complaining a bit, but then she got to where she could stand it, and I was doing that over her ears and forward. So the problem isn't really the ears. It's a mental problem with the combination of bit, lift, and over the ears, or forward on the ears. So, because you can touch the ears, if I, I mean, this side's worse, but I've, I've got these ears. I've got them, I can put them, I can put them forward. Look at that. She's coping with that now. Um, I'll try and get her to drop her, right? So she might shake a bit here, but she's coping. So it's not all about the ears. It's a mental issue, which is why I knew it would be bad. But that's what I did. I kept myself safe. And then I went to, to the bridegroom issue. And even though they look like, they're not nastily back, are they? They're just... No, 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 that's just the way she is in the, in the stable. Because from here it's... Well, she's been through a lot of rubbish. Yeah, I know. She's been through a lot. You know, and this is hard for her to... Her, she was convinced within an inch of her life no one was putting a bridle over her ears. And a lot of people have tried. Some trainer, other trainers have tried as well. But I've really had to scratch my head with this one to keep m myself safe to somehow get to where we can put a bridle on. So I'm going to do it again now. See, it might be worse, it might not be. But, <coughs> excuse me. 
Right, so I tip her head. I don't try and hide the bridle, she's there. <clears throat> we'll put the bridle in, the bit in. Uh, you've got to make sure it goes right, she holds it a little bit down, then you haven't got, you, she's learned to do that, then you haven't got enough, right, that's gone up in her mouth now. So now I'm gonna just uh, touch on her ear, take it forward, and my, my timing was a bit off then, that's why she got a little bit upsy daisy there. So I'm gonna now count, when, when I tip her this way, one, two, three, she's, she's resisting, so four, there, I'm on. Now I'm gone. Now she'll have a shake every time she does it. But I released myself away. That was how she got rid of me, and how she copes with it. Now, uh, one, uh, I'll let that forward step go. Yeah, she put it back. Uh, uh, so, now, now it's on. Let's see if I can touch her ears. See, it's not, it's not so much, look at that, it's not so much... It's a mental issue, which is why it's so difficult. But I could live with that now. I could somehow do that and ride her uh, while it's loose like that so that I don't have to really press the ears down. What the owner's going to have to do, if they can get this done after my lessons I'm going to give them, what all you have to do is then bring this up to wherever you want the bit. So you bring it up probably two holes there or something. So I'll put a little mark there for them. And then you've got it, got it on. But you have to drop it down then to take it off. There will have to be some effort from people to, to, to get this done. Because remember how bad things were. Uh, very interesting for me to see whether I can get, get, get how far I can get with it for the handover. Uh, so now taking off is as important. So I'm going to tip it, tip it up. Oh. Taking this off, there is a, I have got a, a little video showing how to take these off with the bit in there. Uh, it's where, you, it's where you, you take the halter off, you bring that down and slide it down behind the bit and it's gone. You so, don't need to do that now though. I'm not going to do that now, no. So I'm going to take this off now uh, with quality again. I get hold of it. I kind of let her know, but I'm not going to mess about. It's just forward. This comes off. So every time she does it with me, she's having to work with me. She's out, she, everything is thinking down here, down here, down here. Work with me, work with me, work with me. And that rather than shake violently, and we'll have another clip of that now because I'm thinking of it right now. And now she goes. <laughs> that, you know, everything is with me, work with me, work with me. How about that? Whoa, right. So I think the girl did good there. We'll leave, we'll leave her now. We'll uh, leave her now and tomorrow will be, uh, later on I'll do on my own quietly, another half an hour I'd say. Load a bit in and then, t you know, the, uh, she goes back in three days. She goes back, now there she's avoiding. So what I'm gonna do is just hold her and say, look, wait till I'm ready, drop down just a bit. There, now she can get rid of me. So, constantly thinking of her working with me. So yeah, a few more days of that. I go back then, drop her back. She can then, we booked, we're gonna leave her for an hour, have a cup of coffee when she goes back. Then there's three people involved. They're all having 15 minute lesson of hind quarter control and getting, getting her to give them space. And hopefully she'll look at them a little bit differently then and they'll have a few tools to kind of help her uh, there's one person going to be doing the bridling, uh, Steve, who, who's a good horseman. I'm going to give him a lesson. Might not even be that day. I might go back uh, and, and do it an now just with him um, <clears throat> to get the first bridling done. So, yeah, show for now.